Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the power of Midjourney with the seed parameter. This is a great tool to create consistent designs as well as create slight variations to existing designs. Let's get started. All right, so we are here in Midjourney. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to start by just using a random prompt. So like we always start out forward slash imagine and I'm going to say a cruise ship in a port. Okay, so Midjourney has created our four set of, set of four images here and you can see this is what it looks like. And so what we're gonna do to get our seed is we're gonna go to the reaction here. We're gonna click add a reaction and here I already have it pulled up because I use it all the time but you're gonna use colon envelope colon and you're just gonna click on that envelope and then it's going to send you a direct message from the Midjourney bot so you can see I got a little alert there and right here we have our seed so just go ahead and copy and paste that number right there and we're gonna go back to where we were alright and so if we type in the same prompt um, we should get the same image so what we're gonna do for seed is use dash dash seed and then a space and then we're gonna paste in that number Awesome, so as you can see here, this is our first image here, and this is the second image here. And so we used uh, the seed parameter and we ended up getting the same result. So just for reference, if I didn't use the seed parameter there, the which had the exact reference, um, I'll show you that normally you're just gonna get a, uh, it's gonna be a different result, even if you type in the exact same prompt. So this is gonna be with the same prompt without using the seed. So you can see here where we didn't use the seed. Um, this is what we had before. We got the same result twice. This is without using that same one. So, you know, it is still a cruise ship. There's some similarities, but it's definitely not the same. So now this is where the seed parameter can become super powerful and you can really open up a lot of doors is by slightly changing uh, what you type in for your prompt, but still using the same seed. So we're going to copy this seed again so we have that. And we're gonna say, imagine a cruise ship in a port at sunset. So we're gonna see if we can get something pretty similar. Now it's not gonna be exactly the same, but we're gonna try to get something pretty similar and just adjust one thing here, which is adding the sunset. So we're gonna paste in our seed parameter and let's see what we get. All right, so here are our results. So let's click on this and then I will scroll back up to the other, um, the one that we use as our reference, which is here. So you can see, you know, definitely there are some differences but if you look especially this fourth one down here in the corner um, it did a pretty good job of having a similar style of ship and similar design there um, you can see some of the others are a little bit different but that shows you kind of how um, you can use that seed parameter to make some adjustments to what you had there and you know like i said it's not going to be exactly the same but it's it's using those the the seed as essentially the reference that it's working off of and it's going to make adjustments while taking into consideration the information that it had from that seed. Um, so now I'm going to show you one other way to use the seed parameter. And so we're going to say imagine, um, we'll just say a sailboat on the ocean. And this is where you can actually add your own seed. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in our own seed here. So dash dash seed and we're just going to type in one four three two just a random number here all 
All right, so you can see our results here. And what we're gonna do is copy this same one again. And we should get the same thing. So force imagine, and we will paste in that same prompt. And we should get the same result. All right, and sure enough, we did. So this was the first set right here. This is the second set right here. You can see they're, they should be exactly the same. As far as I can tell, they are. And this is just another way to use the seed parameter. Um, now, I have seen people say, and I have experienced this um, on my own playing around with mid-journey, that after a certain period of time, I don't know exactly how long it is, but it definitely seems like if you're over 24 hours, you're not going to necessarily get the same result. Um, it may be similar, but not exactly the same in my experience. So I would say if you do want to use the C parameter, try to do it, um, you know, all in one one time that you're sitting down, or certainly within a day if possible. Um, so let's just go ahead and we'll try out one more example just for fun. So we're going to say imagine um, a man hiking up a mountain. And we're going to do this second method. So I'll say seed. Um, just trying to come up with random numbers here. 1, 8, 7, 7. Okay, so we got some, we actually got some really cool results here. I really like these. Um, so let's try to see if we can change things around a little bit here and still use that seed. So I'm going to say um, a man hiking up a mountain. And I'm going to say uh, no clouds. Well, you know what, let's say, um, let's say orange clouds. All right, so finished up and you can see this is what we started as. This was our first one that we used as a seed. And for the second one here, um, you can see some similarities. It's it actually is pretty different in this case uh, for a few of these examples, but particularly in this fourth one here, you can see, you know, we have a guy wearing a jacket with a hood, backpack, and then you've got the mountain in front of him. Um, and, you know, the mountain or rocks that he's walking on. And then same thing here, but we've added the orange cloud. So still same guy wearing a hood, backpack, walking on the rocks. And then you have the mountain in front of him. And of course, added the orange clouds. Um, some of the other ones have a little bit more of like a illustrated style which is a little bit different um, but you can see how that seed definitely still influenced uh, this photo here so play around with it and um, I think you're gonna get some awesome results that you really like I hope that you guys found this helpful and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching today's video I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel I've got a lot more great AI tutorials that I'm gonna be putting out soon that you definitely don't wanna miss. And if there's a video that you wanna see or a question that you have, please make sure to leave it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.